Good day, souped up psionic strikers. I'm Unsilent, and we're on the air with more StarCraft. It's episode 13 of StarCraft. Thanks for tuning in. Last time out, uh, Kerrigan went aboard the Terran science vessel, the Amerigo, and found some data to help her unlock some of her psionic potential. Now, of course, uh, there was a cutscene that came after it that I didn't know about, so we get to start with that this time out. But what, oh, what awaits on the Amerigo besides a souped-up Kerrigan? For whoever was on that tug to, uh, get run over by? Don't you guys look like an interesting bunch? Oh, some Marines. Of course. It's almost like it's a horror movie they're trying to go for with this. Now, oh, what the hell is... It's got a radiation warning on it. That can't be good. Either it's the world's most terrifying repair kit. Or they've brought some uh, contingency plans. That's very horror-like. Been a while since been a while since I've seen Alien, so I'm trying to remember. I'm racking my brain for homages there. I like that they've just scribbled on in marker, locked and open. It's a nice little touch. Yeah, I'm gonna go for bomb now. Thank God for cold fusion. You have to appreciate a cold fusion pun like that. Hey, are we really gonna blow this place? Only if we see a Zerg. Yeah, I got your Zerg right here. <laughs> Well, I said last time Kerrigan would have some face melting psionic powers, and I wasn't wrong. Doesn't matter if you're quiet or not, you're all dead. Building the tension, I love it. It's like, you know, there's trouble here. Oh, you can hear it now. Which direction is it coming from? Probably all of them. Oh, huh. so that's how Hydra get around. Did not work as well as you'd hoped. He's thinking about going for the bomb. He ain't gonna make it. You ain't gonna make it, son. You're gonna get. Yeah, oh, he's he ain't gonna make it. He's too scared to. Oh, he got it. I was not expecting that. I thought they would all fail miserably. I mean, they kind of still did. The Dark Templar. The primary hive cluster on the planet Char, the Nerazim are here! Do you feel that, Servant? The Protoss are here, on Char. They have been for some time, hiding. Protoss Commander, it was folly of you to come here, for I am Kerrigan, and I am Queen of the Zerg. I know of you well, O oh Queen of the Zerg, for we have met before. I am Tassadar of the Templar. I remember your selfless exploits, defending humanity from the Zerg. Unfortunate it is to see that one who was once so honorable and full of life would succumb to the twisted wiles of the Overmind. 
Do not presume to judge me, Templar. You'll find my powers to be more than a match for yours. In fact, I sense that your vaunted power has diminished since last we met. Mayhem, O oh Queen. Or is it only that I need not flaunt my power in such an infantile test of will? Foolish Templar, prepare your defenses. I will come for you soon. Okay. No intervention from the Overmind this time, just Tassadar and Kerrigan. Of course, Tassadar. <laughs> was, it, was it Tassadar or was it Zeratul? One of the StarCraft characters. I forget what it was IGN or Kotaku or somebody did a review of Heroes of the Storm, rest in peace. And <laughs> that might be a little bit overdramatic, but uh, anyway. One of those big outlets was talking about characters that Blizzard put into, into Heroes of the Storm, their MOBA. At X MOBA. <laughs> Sorry. And I forget if it was Tassadar or Zeratul and says like, oh, they just invented this new character for, for this game. It's like, no, you blithering idiots. They've been in StarCraft. I can't remember. I think it might have been Zeratul now that I'm saying it out loud. But anyway, so we have to exterminate the Protoss intruders and Kerrigan must su survive. All right, let's go. Zerg Mutalisks can be transformed into a unit called the Guardian. Once a spire is upgraded to a greater spire, all mutalisks automatically gain the ability to transform into guardians. Ah, I feel as though that is an important hint. Kerrigan, I sense something strange about this Templar. Perhaps you should reconsider your attack. For the last time, Zaz, you question my motives and authority at your own peril. You dare threaten a celebrant? You'll be the doom of us all. As always, Kerrigan and Zaz getting along famously. All right, so we're going to macro up a little bit early game. Ah, now you're the guardian of which the tip was speaking. I was thinking, oh, rude lords, you look a little weird. But a guardian, two armor, 20 damage, acid spore. So, there we go. Um, how much to say? So you've got zero armor and nine damage. So these things are, they pack a pretty good punch. Now the question is, what the hell can they shoot? Do they only, uh, do they only shoot up? Do they shoot the ground? Or do they shoot both? I don't know. We've got a Hydra Den. We've got a spawning pool. We do not have a Spire. As far as I have seen, things we also don't have include, but are not limited to. Uh, we need another Overlord on our next. We need uh, we need Vespine. We need a Spire. Oh, and this is the top. This is the absolute top of the map. And we've got a ramp. That uh, actually. Uh, no, I don't want to spawn. I want to build an extractor. An extractor. So I need one of you to be an overlord, and the other one of you to be a drone. That was my problem. My fingers were just slightly. Oh. All right. No time at the present to. No time like the present to see. Shoots down pretty good. I caught that. But I might want a second creep colony here. And you come down here so I get a little more vision down south. Uh, you're not doing me any good up here. Come down over here. Uh, right there. Doesn't do anyone any good like that. Alright. How's that extractor going? Oh, that was my bad. Let's get some gas going. We're just macroing up early game. Nothing. To, like this creep colony over here does no one any good. Let's see how many it, we need for full saturation. At least three. You hang out here. I just wanted to see. Uh, another drone. One more drone. We'll see. I think. Are we good? No. It's going to be at least four. 
And that was a little pause. That was... So I think five is about optimal, but at the same time, I don't see a benefit to going more than what we've got now. So I want I want two more drones because we're going to go Spire and Evo. So that's what we're going to do with that. We're going to turn you into a sunken. So I want... Let's get, uh, let's get Hydra Range going because I do like me some Hydra Range. We've got metabolic boost, faster lane movement, and adrenal glands. We got to, oh, we can tech up to hive. Excuse me. All right, so we got to get you to tech up to an Evo over there, and ah, I need to be at uh, I need to be at layer tech to get up to hydra's um, on what each yeah. Need to be on layer tech if we want to get to uh, get that spire out. So that one is on me, not paying attention. Now our ramp in is guarded by oh there yeah oh we got two ramps. It's a good thing I had you come over here. So let's if we've got one drone, let's get another drone out so we can put another sunken over here. And then another one, because as soon as we're done... I can't, oh, was it yelling at me about overlords, or was I just hearing things? Oh, or is that a mutation complete? And you can be a s creep colony there. Don't go too far. Because you're going to be a spire in about a three seconds, so... V and spire, just like I said. Let's get ranged going. How's this going? We can get you into a sunken. That you're upgrading. Hide your speed. I got I got speedlings on the way. Now what do we need? We need Queen's Nest to get the hive. And if yeah, this needs hive. Get some more hydra out. That's right, it wanted me to do overlords, but I had uh, been take by taking drones down into that, I've been uh, not requiring any new overlords, so. Okay, so we're in. Let's get a second overlord, overlord while we're at it. Yeah, so we're off to a flying start. I was mentioning off the top that uh, Heroes of the Storm looks pretty dead. Uh. Because uh, it's not just the, you know, the, the Heroes Global Championship, the uh, Blizzard Esport being dead. Because I'm sure there'll still be pop-up tournaments and people will organize them intermittently. Don't get me wrong. So what just, oh, that was Speedling's gone. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Let's get some Mutas going. Now this, to go to Greater Spire, requires Hive. So let's get some, let's get plus one attack there. You are still going... Eh, don't want to rush to speedlings. What do I need it again? Sorry, queen's nest. So I need a queen's nest. Where the hell do I get a queen's nest? Okay, let's see how good... Look at the range on this little thing. Those things. I'll let that get a little pounded there. Um... Move these guys out of the way. Uh, I could use... Uh, I didn't want Scourge. I'm clicking them direct. Drones, so I can have another sunken right about there. It is repairing slowly but surely, though. Get another sunken there. The Surge can... The Scourge. Sorry, not the Surge. The Scourge. There they are. I'm sure they can help. So, I want you to be a creep colony there. No, no, no. You're good. Uh, and I want... I'm assuming V and Q for Queen's Nest right there. So that way I can get up to Hive. We're probably going to want a mix of... And Sunken. 
Now what just completed? No, it's not gonna tell me. So I'm assuming you completed? That's missile. Attack's still going. <laughs> you know I like hovering over the carapace. We could do... Yeah, let's get carapace. I do play defensively for better or worse. You know, if Kerrigan must survive, I'm not going to rush her out, so. No. We've got to start clearing things out. So, we got to start thinking about... I don't want to say scouting, but scouting's not a bad way of putting it either. Get an overlord on the way. So we got to figure out where every... we got to figure out where everyone is, but if it looks like... If it looks like there's nobody hanging out in the neighborhood. Now, is there anyone hanging out? Just a couple of mineral patches. This might be more worth it for the gas than it would be for the bloody, um... Uh, than for the bloody minerals. There's some minerals, but not much, right? Not much. Oh. What evolution just completed? Plus one. Um, oh, I need to get up to hive. Uh, let's get plus two just for the hell of it. Now can I get up to hive? How much do I need? Ooh, 150. Excuse me. Maybe we'll go with lings at first. Now, is there a way up here or do I need to get care? Uh, ooh, I don't see a ramp up to here, which is good. It makes it defendable. But on the other hand... Can we get... Just see if we can... Take that ling up there. So if we need to... Let's get the hive going. Now where... Or where'd that drone go? Because I sent a drone up here. Or at least I thought I did. Did you get lost along the way? As usually, these things will find... No, he... There's... Okay, there's no way up there. So we need to get drop lords if we want it. It's a nice defendable position, though. That's why I like it. Unfortunately, we've got to wait on... Uh... Oh, there it goes. Taking up fast. Taking up hard. So spawn broodling and snare and uh, queen energy. If we need it. Oh, and then we can get Adrenal Glands. I'd like to know what that does. Doesn't tell me what... Ev oh, I assume it's that. Get plus two missile. That's Hydra Speed. That's... That's Flyer Attack. Ooh, my nice scary hive. I like... I need ventral. Ah, the joys. I need more Vespine gas in order to get more Vespine gas. Oh. Where'd me? I'm gonna bomb. What's that? A Reaver. We're gonna bomb that Reaver out of existence using my guardians. Those things are... How's my attacks going? Guardians move okay. They don't move lightning fast. They move okay fast. Ventral. Let's go. Let's get some drones going. Because we need them to... We're going to need a creep colony. Yeah, yeah, I got the Overlord going. Because we might need them to... Uh, I'm hoping that was... No, it's not Ventral. So we're going to park you right there. So that way, as soon as Ventral's done, we can get a hatch and a and a, an extractor going at the same time. 
turn you into sunken. Get some Muta going. What's the cost on Muta? It's 100, 100. And then what's the cost to go up to... Oh, I need to Greater Spire this. I need to Greater Spire before I find out how much... Just a lot of investment to get up to Guardian. I, and I'm, I'm making a wild assumption that that is a correct call. Again, another... Uh, Another zealot coming in. How's this coming? Almost there. We're getting there. Bomb that reaver out of existence. One more hit. Or two. I don't even know what a reaver is. Honestly, I'm thinking, just unload it there, and then go back. Alright, hang on. We're gonna get two overlords. And something else completed. That was my plus two missile. Ah, just get the attack. Just get the uh, attack. Alright, let's go. Alright, you get to be an extractor. And you get to figure out where you're allowed to... Right there. That's where you're allowed to go. And you are. Alright, so it's... Oh, it's another 5100 for the Guardian. So I can only... Transform two Guardians right now. Man, that's pricey. But isn't everything at this point when you're getting to like tier three level stuff? That get that's where it gets expensive, and then now we're gonna need and like some of these guys are gonna be put out of business soon. So now, man, those things do not take long to. To melt anything. Let's get some of these guys out of the way. Let's move you over the extractor. Let's just keep getting... Just float you over there. Unless you want to start heading south to find out what's coming. And I don't think that's a particularly fun idea. Now we could put you out here. Just so that way you see what's coming. That's the idea, is we need more Vespines, so that's why we've got... ...this over here. And there's something coming up here. More mineral patches. Oh, maybe we should have fought south as opposed to east. This looks like a... Oh, that is a zealot. So they may have a base over there? They may not have a base over there. So... Let's just park you over there. That is... Alright. Guardian. Guardian. Okay, so there's Dragoons. Oh, crap. Okay, so... So the Guardians... Don't shoot up. They only shoot down. I mean, which is fine. That's not a problem. I mean, it's fine. It's not a problem. Like I, like I was trying to say. But it just means they need to have uh, an honor guard of mutalisks to go with them, right? No, 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 no. We're not looking to load. What I'm looking for is just some sight. So we need one more on the gas here. So 
So we got a lot of Hydra. We need more Muta. That thing took a licking. But they repair up eventually. That one was dead at one point, if you recall. Now, Guardian Aspect, that's on G. Of course we require more Vespine Gas. Why wouldn't we? What we'll do is we'll spawn some more overlords. We are going to need more overlords. So we're up to seven guardians. Make that eight. That way we can have a guard of guardians and a guard of... of uh, what's the other thing called? Mutalisks. We'll send over him over to here. And then we've got 8 and 12 or something to that effect. Then we can try and push out. I know it's been a slow start, but... We're getting built up and we're going to have a hell of an army here. By the time we're done, we're going to have a hell of an army. We're going to push out. We're just going to murk everything here. And then... Okay, that's it. That's it. Now we need a few more mutas before I'm comfortable. So I think that'll bring us up to 12. And with 12 and 8, I think that'll be great to move out with. So we're doing okay for, um... We're doing okay for minerals right now. Can I get, uh... Plus 3 attack? Yeah. It's the gas that worries me. Not so much the minerals, it's the gas. And that's the... A dozen mutas. Alright. Let's attack, move over, and attack, move over. Oh. Attack... So, now... Now we're going to just start moving in. Now, the mutas, I mean, do I really need to bring the mutas along? The mutas are only really here. To cover in case somebody decides to show up with, uh... The mutas are only here in case somebody shows up with anti-air. And again, this seems like another almost island base. Because I don't see another, I don't see a ramp up here either. Hop in here. Actually, you hop in here as well. Oh, I didn't expect you guys to move out, but hey, that's fine. Where'd that overlord go? Oh, here. And unload here. That's fine. We may want to... Uh... Yeah, what the hell. That's That's working. That's plugging away. So if we've got the opportunity, let's spawn in. Let's spawn in some mutas. So we'll just... I mean, you guys could try to make something happen here, but this is just not going to work. So we can slowly push our way down. I mean, they're faster than Broodlords. I mean, GG Lords are great, don't get me wrong. But fast is not a word I would associate with a Broodlord. Guardians at least have a little pace to them. Just making a nice, considerate, systematic sweep. Almost, almost there. Oh, fine. Oh, uh, where? All right. Now, you guys think this is a good idea, but have you seen this many everything before in your life? No, you haven't. And that is why you fail. So we're going to build an extractor. 
And then you're going to build a hatch. Kind of equidistant. So we've probably got more than we... Uh, was that the speed? So we'll put a couple of you guys... We'll drop them there. There's our guardians. So that is... Which evolution was that? Was that... That was speed. Meanwhile, there's... Oh, there's a zealot here. That... Well, yeah. You should not be pushing in there, Mr. Dragoon. That's not the best idea you've ever had. We'll put this on six. Yeah, no, you did. How close is that? We're getting there. Just gonna keep going. Just gonna keep pushing. That's, uh, go back down this way. Because I assume it's just buildings, right? Oh, that's a lot of guardians. Let's see how... How we do versus Dragoons. Um, I would say the answer is quite well. Hmm. Alright, let's try. Oh no, there's two... Uh... So there's two cannons there. Oh, we've lost... Oh no, they've come and pincered us. Little bastards. I mean, that's why. Drones. How are we doing for minerals here? Uh, not particularly well. Just pop on over to here. Where'd that go? Oh, there you are. Unload over here. Oh, we're down two guardians. I do apologize. That's just... Five S and V. It's just all the overlords are over here. We're going to take these two guys, meet them up down here with them, and actually... Eh, you guys come down for the party too. Because I need to... We can get a whole control group of guardians to just push in with. And we're going to take our... Mutilus group and move them in as well. So what that'll allow us to do... Yells. Ha again, have some cover. I'm just gonna move all these guys very quickly, apparently. Out of the way. So all six of you are about to... Was that my plus one carapace? All right. I mean, there's not much to do around. All right, we can do a dream lens. Faster circling attack. Oh, the vaunted crackling. That is a uh, that is a Starcraftism for uh, for zerglings with upgraded attack speed if memory serves. Uh, so, oh, we've only got eleven. Damn. Blast. Oh, well. Oh, no. This thing just can't control group everything. All right. Now, let's move in this way and set things on fire. Well, reasonably on... Oh, you didn't stand a chance. I mean, like... Oh, look at this. The power, the range. I found a new favorite Zerg unit. Oh, look at this. Thank you for the... Thank you for the tip, Mr... Whoever, write, whoever wrote the hints at the start of a level. So we're just going to be busy eradicating all the Protoss. Very quickly. The Zealots are tankier than the Bloody Dragoons right now. My god. Look at that. What Evo compl... What Evo... Oh, that was the Cracklings. Right, right, right. Oh, no. Retreat! Attack! And retreat! 
How's, where's the hive cluster under attack from? I don't see it. Oh. All right, we've lost a guardian and a muta. That's the reason why I was bringing the, uh, there's a reason why I was bringing the, uh, Muta along for the fight. Get a couple more drones going, just to be safe. How are we doing on gas? We could... Oh! Things I wasn't expecting... ...included, but are not limited to, an attack against the Hive Cluster here. And we do have some Hydra coming out. So, we also need to re-drone up here. I was not expecting to need... Just attack the stupid high, uh, the zealots. Tanky ass pieces of shit. Alright, well. That went poorly. All right, took out the cannon. I mean, we still got enough that we can. All right, there we go. Now there we go. We'll take out. We'll take out the flyers with the mutilisks. We'll take out the ground units with, with the guardians. And now that we've taken out the flying units. We'll take. We'll back out the mutas so that way that the the uh, guardians can just do their thing, or the mutas will cover their ass, you know, one or the other. And we should probably run some mutas down here because how many are left? We need at least four down there. Plus, we're going to need a few more. It begs the question: Did we miss something over on the? Now we just might want some more. Do we, uh, how's the carapace going? Get me plus three carapace. So we've got. Alright, this is our new, uh. This is our new two group. And they're all about to be guardians. Guardians of the galaxy, as it were. That'll bring me back up to a full control group of guardians, which is good. This has just been bombardment of Bible questions. Yay! Ah, ah, no, no, no Simpsons reference. And so we'll box you guys up and there's, there's a, oh crap, mutas, mutas. There we go. Rescue mutas to the rescue. We'll take the mutas against the cannons that way. Now, now the not sorry the guardians against the cannon. We'll get some mutas up here as well. Gas, get on the gas. There we get some more drones. How are you guys doing? I just keep pushing across. So they don't have much to work with here, but we might want to worry about that Stargate. Two of you on gas and one of you get back to mining minerals. All right, back up here. Does not take long for these guys to When the Guardians set their mind to blowing something up, they do it very efficiently. You have to admit. These things are fantastic units. I mean, I, I wish I could do... wish I had these things sooner. Kind of like I wish I had BC sooner. Uh, get some... I, I want... No, hang on. Get on the gas. 
I don't mean like, uh, I don't mean like most of Major League Baseball get on the gas. I mean, allegedly, you know, of course. I was just listening to, uh, ESPN, you know, if you're a sports fan, you know, ESPN does these documentaries under the, uh, 30 for 30 banner, right? And, uh, something that they've done over the last little bit is they've introduced 30 for 30, uh, audio docs. Where are you, Tassadar? Do your underlings always do your fighting for you? This shall be our battleground, O Queen. Face me here, and I will defeat you myself. Oh, so did we bring Kerrigan to Tassadar's challenge alone? It's an island. That's an elevated thing. Okay, so we didn't even have to take anything out in the top corner of the map there. So, where's one of me? Random... Overlords. Would the Queen of Blades kindly... Oh, see, I, it's a good thing I kept moving. Dude's off there. Alright, unload. Right there. Nope. Don't hold down the middle mouse button. That just speeds things up way too much. So, we get to follow this guy home. I'm guessing that we've taken care of everyone. Once you get it rolling with a giant army of nothing but deadly, deadly guardians, three, three guardians now, of course, or is it just three, two? I assume they want me to get rid of that. Oh. Oh, is it just going to happen? Oh, we win. An illusion. Are you afraid to face me, Templar? So long as you continue to be so predictable, O Queen, I need not face you at all. You are your own worst enemy. We win! GG! I was hoping Karen was gonna give it a arg like she's prone to doing. Be very Idra of her. You know, my entire army was hallucination. You could look up Idra Hallucination. That's a, I would say, a famous and infamous StarCraft II game in which um, a Zerg player for EG, um, Idra, rage quit after facing an army that was, I would say, entirely hallucinated, but um, pretty, pretty substantially hallucinated and just like, nope, no, nah, I can't deal with this, GG, and just, just bailed. One of the more surreal moments in StarCraft history. All right, anyway, yes. Oh, wow, that is a terrible APM. So we did an okay job of this, I think. I think I might have over macroed a bit because I think we had way too much for, and I think I spent most of my time just waiting to, let's get to rush, get to Hive Tech, get the Greater Spire, get the Guardians out and just go, go, go. I spent more time concentrating on making sure that I, you know, was mining sufficient amounts of minerals and gas, and I was floating a bit by the end, but, well, obviously this plus this minus this, and I was floating probably over 5,000 in total of gas and minerals by the end, so. Anyway, that is it for this time out on StarCraft. Next time, ooh, Kerrigan's angry at hallucinated Tassadar. What will she do? I guess we will find out when we run into the fleet of the Executor, maybe next time? I don't know, we'll find out. Oh yeah, I just realized this was called the Dark Templar. I didn't see any DTs. No, I know they're permanently cloaked. Don't do that. <laughs> um, no, but I mean, I would have even seen them with, uh, with the overlords, right? So, detection units. So, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I missed a step there. Anyway, yeah, that's it for this episode of StarCraft. So until the next time, I'm Unsilent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is Unsilent on air. And that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. Don't forget you could check out more StarCraft in a playlist. It's on the screen in the description down below. And more videos anytime on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.